Hello friends, uh, welcome to my channel. Let's have a look at problem 305 together. Number of islands, 2. So the goal for this problem is to count the number of islands. So after we turn some cells to be land. So um, this problem is marked hard in this code. Um, in this video, we're going to share a method based on disjoint set data structure or the unifend method. So the idea actually is very straightforward. So we're going to use the find method in the disjoint set data structure to detect new clusters. And we use the unit operation to merge clusters. So in this problem setting, the island corresponds to cluster in the data disjoint set data structure. So uh, with that said, uh, essentially we are counting the number of clusters in the disjoint set data structure when we uh, scan the positions. So our plan is as follows. So I will first implement the disjoint set data structure. So for this implementation here, the main goal is to implement the find and union function. So in view of time complexity, so we're going to implement a find with path compression and union by rec. So as an extra hyper function, we're also implement one function called get clusters so that we can dynam dynamically monitor the number of islands in the process when we scan the positions list. So then uh, after we implement the disjoint set, this structure will directly apply it to the problem. I uh, would describe this process as uh, natural. So with that said, let's look at the implementation of the disjoint uh, set data structure. So for this, I'm going to implement outset the cl uh, solution class so that uh, the class implement uh, will be useful in general. So I'm going to call it DSU. So let's first look at the initialization. So uh, we're going to initialize the roots, so which is an empty uh, dictionary self rack. So we're going to ma uh, make it also a empty dictionary. And also we want to track the number of clusters. I'll call this attribute in clusters. So initially it's a zero. So next we're going to look at the find method. So the find method going to accept a variable position. The position is a tuple, which like RC. So <coughs> in the process, we're, uh, we are also detecting new clusters. For example, if position um, not in self roots, so this uh, position after we change to it to uh, land in the problem setting, it will produce a new island or in the data structure, it corresponds to a new cluster, right? So, so self uh, roots, so position will be itself, uh, self racks of this position. It will be one because currently in the cluster containing this position, it has only one um, position, right? So in this case, we're going to increment the clusters attribute by one. So we're going to return position itself in this situation. Um, otherwise, we're going to um, um, do a chain of search to find the root. And uh, in order to accelerate the procedure, we're going to use um, path compression. So first, I'm going to initialize a variable called result, which is the current position. Then we're basically, it's a while loop. We will check if position does not equals to self roots 
uh, position or result. So we're going to do something like this. We're going to set the result to its uh, roots or parents. But in between, we want to do a path compression. So what we want to do is that we set the self roots of a result to be its parents. So let's do copy this. Uh, we want to apply self roots again. So that's basically um, plays the role of path compression. But there are other ways to implement this one. But this one is relatively short. So then we after we set this one, and if we exit the while loop, we're going to have result equals self roots result. Then what we are going to return is the result. So this is the find method. Then let's look at the union method. The union method accepts two positions. So the position is similar as in the find method above. Then uh, for this, so we have this position and we have this position. First, we are going to determine if the two positions belong to the same cluster or not. In other words, we need to locate their representations or their roots. So let's call root1, root2. So for now, we are going to uh, call the method we just implement. Self find position 2. So here is position 1. Um, if the roots are the same, it means position 1 and position 2 belongs to same uh, to the same uh, cluster. We are not going to do any work. Otherwise, if root 1 does not equals root 2, then we are going to merge them together. So the merge process is aided by the rack. So let's consider the case if self racks. So if root 1 has a lot is a larger cluster, so rex uh, root 2. We're going to merge the cluster within uh, containing root 2 to the cluster containing root 1. So it's like a self roots. We're going to set root 2 has a root that is root 1. And then we're going to increment the racks of uh, root 1 by adding that of root 2. So this is a very natural process. Uh, otherwise, we're going to do the reverse. So let's copy this one and make some modifications. So in this case, we're going to set uh, the root of root 1 to be root 2. And then we're going to increment the rank of root 2 um, by that of root 1. So this corresponding to enlarge the cluster size represented by root 2. So in this case, after we do the merge, so the number of clusters is decremented by 1. So self uh, in clusters. So let's see. Um, clusters in decremented by 1. So in clusters. Okay. Uh, that's about it for this uh, union function. So actually this to now the implementation can be end can be ending. So because um, this is sufficient for our problem. But in order to get more information let's implement uh, another method called get clusters so that in the process we can look at the clusters and detect uh, detect their mm, there are uh, components or positions. So here it's uh, just accept the self argument. So we are going to initialize a dictionary. Then we're going to iterate in for the self roots atoms. So first I'm going to find the root for this uh, we um, self. Mm, and if uh, root in D, I'm going to add the current uh, node 
key to the set. Otherwise, I'm going to initialize this as a single element set. So after that, we're going to return this um, dictionary representation of the clusters. So that's the implementation for the disjoint set union. So we implement two main methods, find and union. So here we are using path compression in find, and we are using uh, union by rank in the union. And uh, as an extra function, we also implemented a get clusters for uh, revealing more information in the uh, solution process. So I guess now it's time to look at the solution to this specific problem. So for that, first, I'm going to initialize our result, uh, which is an empty list at the very beginning, in order that we saw the number of clusters or islands in the process. Then we're going to linear scan the positions. So for position, in positions. So first, I want to make this position to be a tuple, right? So for this, I'm going to track the RC. Uh, with that said, so first I'm going to see if this RC is already in the data structure which we have to uh, in, initialize, instantiate. Let's first instantiate. DSU is DSU, right? So first we are going to check if RC is in, inside DSU or not. If not, we are going to find it, right? In other words, making, uh, creating a island. So First, DSU find this position RC. So then we want to see for the current island containing RC, if we can merge with the previous island already created. So how do we do this? We are going to check for this position if its neighbor is already is already any of its neighbor is already in the DSU data structure or already in the uh, island. So this is uh, simple. So for neighbor in, so it's a green set, R minus one C, R plus one C, and R C minus one, R C plus one. So if any of these is in the um, previous clusters in one or more clusters, we're going to do the um, uh, merge. So if neighbor in DSU roots, so what we are going to do is DSU union um, the current position RC and the, its neighbor. So that's all about it after we scanning this position. Then once we scan this position, um, the data structure DSU has a state. So for this state, it's corresponding to the number of islands. So then we're going to do the operation result append the current number of uh, clusters, DSU n clusters. So n clusters, this is the attribute. So that's it. Then we're going to uh, return the result after this for loop. So that's the full code for this problem. So let's first do a special case check. Yeah, it passes the first example. So as we uh, we implement this uh, function, let's do a um, meta information print. So each time we print the clusters or the islands. So this is a method, right? So let's see. So if we add change this zero zero to be one, so this is a cluster. If we change uh, zero one to uh, to be land, so because these two are adjacent, so it's still one cluster. Then if we change uh, uh, another one, so that that is. Uh, so one two so into um, land, so we have uh, two clusters. So so one is represented by zero one, so this one, 
the other is this one. So then if we change another one, that's two one to be land, we're going to get three clusters. So this is one cluster. So represented by zero one, and another one is represented by one two, and the third one is represented by two one. So that's about it for this example or test case. Let's do a generic case check. Output uh, limited. Let's um, comment this out. Let's not comment this uh, return. So yeah, let's pass it the generic case. So actually, a final comment is that. So when we first try, I used a version without pass compression. It gets time limited. So I guess the pass compression um, accelerates a little bit the procedure. So with that said, I guess that's all about this solution and this video. Thank you very much.